Hello everybody, today I wanted to make a quick video going over how the North American Challengers playoffs is going to look. It starts tomorrow, that's right, one day. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot to talk about. In case you missed it, I'll give you a brief overview of who qualified and who did not. Uh, there were 12 teams throughout North American Challengers. We went through a multiple month-long process starting on February 1st, but even before that, there was the open qualifier. It's been a while. All right, it's, it's been a few months, and now we're here. Uh, we landed with 12 teams in North American Challengers. We went through split one. The top eight teams qualified for the midseason faceoff for a chance to earn additional circuit points on top of the circuit points they won during split one. Then after the midseason faceoff, we went to split two. Uh, this was sort of just the same thing as split one in order to try and gain more circuit points. You can see the top 12 teams or how the 12 teams ranked after split two, or in split two, rather. Then we go to the playoffs, where the top eight teams, based off of your circuit points that they've earned from split one, the midseason phase off in split two, end up in the upper quarterfinals. They are placed based off of their seedings. The seedings are the first, it, it's pretty standard seedings, okay? So the first seed, meaning the first place team in circuit points, goes up against the eighth seed, or the last place team in circuit points of the top eight. So MAD goes against Shopify Rebellion, Oxygen goes against G2, The Guard goes against FaZe, and Moist Mogus goes against TSM. Uh, and this will be how we start off the North American Challengers. Now, if you're a fan of those bottom four teams that didn't quite qualify, those being Disguised, Mad Lions, or Esports, and Turtle Troop, don't worry, there's still a chance to watch them play. June 4th and 5th is the Play and Relegation Tournament. Now, before we get to that, let's just talk about how playoffs will work, and then I'll tell you about and relegation. So let's go ahead uh, and take a look at this article that was put out by Valorant Esports staff. So, uh, no author cited, just Valorant Esports staff. Uh, Knights Arena Challengers League playoff preview. After four months of play, the Knights Arena Challengers League has seen the top North American teams battle through split one, the midseason faceoff, and split two to determine who will qualify for playoffs and book their ticket to the BCT Americas Ascension Tournament. Uh, so if you don't know, this is what we've been playing for. This whole time is to try and get to the Ascension Tournament. Uh, I go ahead and pull it up here. Um, and you guys can go ahead and see. We'll find it. The upcoming events. Here we go. So this is the last chance qualifier. Not what I was looking for. Should have just pulled this up. Here we go. So the uh, VCT America's Ascension. Uh, is going to be a, a playoffs tournament, a playoff-style tournament. Uh, there's going to be a really short group stage. I believe it's only going to be a few days, maybe even just like two or three, I think, from what I read. Um, and it's uh, it's just it's not to determine who makes it to playoffs. It's just to determine the seedings for the playoffs. Now, who makes it to the America's Ascension? Well, that's what we're going to find out this week. It's the top two teams from the North American Challengers, the top two teams from the Brazil Challengers, one team from the Latin America North Challengers, and one team from the Latin America South Challengers. That's six teams, the top six teams from all of America's playoffs, or sorry, Challengers, end up here in America's Ascension. There'll be a short group stage, like I said, to determine who plays when. Then we go to the playoffs, where the winner of the grand final gets a spot in the America's League next year, in 2024 Americas. Uh, tier one competition so there's a lot that they're playing for right now now you'll notice north america gets to present two teams so that's what challengers has been to determine so quick little brief overview to kick off the season m80 and the guard dominated the league as early favorites of to qualify for the ascension tournament in split two we saw moist moguls leap forward with a 5-0 run leading in nearly every statistical category throwing their name into the mix of front runners. Now the top eight teams head into the final act of the North American Challengers League circuit. Here's everything you need to know about the opening matches of the Challengers League playoffs. Um, so you can see this nice little image here. It is just essentially this bracket, not this bracket, this bracket here, uh, which you can find over on VLR.gg, and then you can find the North American playoffs, um, or sorry, North American Challengers. Uh, but yeah, you can see uh, it's just going to be eight teams. It's a quick little bracket. The two teams that lose, or sorry, the four teams that lose in the upper quarterfinals go down here to the lower bracket. Um, and then uh, they play each other here. The losers of these matches are out. The two teams that win 
advance on here. Now, it should be noted, every team that made it here to the playoffs gets a free spot in next year's Challengers. So even if your favorite team doesn't win or make it to Ascension, you'll still see them again in next year's Challengers because uh, they just get a free spot, all right? Um, that's how it, how it goes. So playoffs begin on May 31st at 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, and the top eight teams in the Challengers League play, sorry, with the top eight teams in the Challengers League playing through a double elimination bracket with the top two teams in the event making their way to Champions Tour 2023 America's Ascension. The Ascension Tournament will bring the top teams together in person to decide who from Latin America, Brazil, or North America will qualify for the VCT Americas League for 2024. I already said that. So the first match of playoffs brings the number one seed, M80, and the best with the best record across both splits and a midseason faceoff win against Shopify Rebellion, who narrowly clinched a spot in playoffs by winning this final split two match. M80 has proved themselves to as the top dog in the league from the start, while Shopify struggled initially before finding their footing in split two. Now, there's a lot more to be said about this series, and of course, I'll deep dive into it when we're about to see the series tomorrow. But the main thing to keep note of is Shopify's already beaten M80. That's right, Shopify, despite being one of the worst teams, actually has beaten M80 before. If you go to this previous record, it was a 2 0 win, and uh, it was like decently close but also not really if you look at this one on ascent uh, it's very clear m80 was caught off guard uh, but yeah so that's something to look look into as we start looking at this brief overview of these series g2 versus oxygen esports the other match on the top side of the bracket will be between a g2 esports and oxygen esports oxygen has had a steady performance in the league with a 3-2 record in both splits with a fourth place finish at the mid-season face-off G2, on the other hand, has been the opposite of consistent, going from finishing at the top of their group in split one and second at the mid-season face-off to not finding a single win in split two. That's right, G2 Esports, who nearly won, I mean, I wouldn't say nearly won, but they made it to the grand finals of the mid-season face-off. All of a sudden, in split two, they're just not playing well. They, they all of a sudden are, are in this like lower position uh, where not very many people are rooting for them at this point or expect them to win. Uh, just because Split 2 went so poorly for them where they didn't win a single series. They literally lost to every single person in their group, uh, which is, you know, not really what you want to see. I mean, you can see here, um, yeah, 0 and 5 record. Now, to be fair, they had to go against the Guard and Moist Moguls, but, you know, they should have still beaten FaZe or, or Mad Lion. So, yeah, suffice it to say, it's not looking great for them, and we'll see if that changes in playoffs. The Guard versus FaZe Clan. The Guard and FaZe Clan will kick off the opposite side of the bracket, bringing the teams together for the third time this season. The Guard has led the matchup 4-0 in maps, with FaZe only winning 10 rounds in their most recent series. Since their most recent uh, encounter, FaZe has been on the upswing, finishing the final four games with a 3-1 record. However, the Guard's dominance through both splits cannot be understated, having kept up with fellow frontrunners M80 and Moist Moguls across both splits. Now, it should be said that the only loss that the guard took in Split 2 was to Moist Mogul. So clearly, at least in Group B, which is the group FaZe Clan was with the guard in, uh, clearly the guard is still looking pretty pretty solid. Are they looking like, you know, the number one? Maybe not, but they are still looking like a very, very solid team uh, who you definitely need to be afraid of. Then, the final match of the uh, group, or sorry, of the first, you know, first round or the upper quarterfinals, the, the final match is going to be Moist Moguls versus TSM. The final match of the first round of playoffs is between Moist Moguls and TSM. Both teams have never been in the same group and have only played in the midseason faceoff. With Moist Moguls taking the win, it's no secret that Moist Moguls were a dominant force in split two, having the only undefeated performance in the split, while TSM, after starting with a strong 4-1 record, four one record in split one, struggled in split two with a 2-3 and three finish. So you can go ahead and see these are the dates and times. Uh, so May 31st, that's tomorrow. It's the first day, and there's going to be two series. It's going to be the first two series. Uh, and then June 1st, we have uh, the, 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 second, the second two series, or yeah, the, the final, the third and fourth series. There you go, uh, which would be this uh, series right here. Uh, and then, you know, you can see the dates on VLR.gg, but... Then the next day on June 2nd, we'll do the upper quarter final. Then we go down and we do the lower round one, uh, the two losers of that. 
uh, are out and the winners get to go to the lower round two well the where they will face the losers of the uh, upper semifinal now you'll notice there's a big gap in time june 3rd and then all of a sudden the next series is on june 7th for lower round two why is there such a big gap in time you may be asking uh, and that's a really good question the answer is play-in relegation from june 4th to june 5th is what's called the play-in relegation so remember i talked about those bottom four teams that didn't make it to the playoffs well, guess what? They do have a second chance to qualify for next year's challengers. Because like I said, if you made it to playoffs, if you're a team that made it to playoffs, you get a free spot in next year's challengers. However, for those teams that didn't qualify for the playoffs, they still have a chance to qualify for next year's challengers without having to go through next year's open qualifiers. The way that they can qualify is by winning this play in relegation. So the bottom four teams go through the play in relegation bracket, which is a really short double elimination bracket with just four teams to determine which of the top two from the bottom four will be qualifying for next year's challengers. So it's going to be, to start it off, Turtle Troop versus Mad Lions. The winner goes on to the winners. The, and then Disguised versus OR, the winner goes on to the winners. And the winner of this qualifies for next year's challengers. Then we go down to the elimination bracket. So the two teams that lost in this opening, uh, these opening matches go down to the elimination. They play each other. The loser does not qualify for next year's challengers. The winner goes to the decider, where the loser of this winner's match ends up playing in the decider. The winner of this qualifies for next year's challengers. The bottom two teams uh, do not qualify for next year's challengers, and will have to try and go through the open qualifier next year. Now, remember I said I had a little bit of an announcement? Well, I'm going to be casting, once again, an actual esports match uh, over on the Conniving Tournaments uh, Twitch. You can go ahead and find it there. It'll be, uh, I believe it's just a short little a tournament. Um, I'm only going to be doing one day as far as I know for right now. Um, that'll be happening June 4th, which is the same day as the start of the plane relegation tournament. Now, I should still be there to cover the plane relegation tournament, but, you know, I might be a little bit late, and understandably so. Uh, I also do have to say I'll be late tomorrow by like 10 minutes um, for the um, uh, start of the playoffs. I know it's so sad, but I should be there for the rest of the playoffs. Uh, yeah, it should be a really fun time. If you want to see me doing my own casting of it, you can just watch it here. Um, or you can, of course, go over to the Knights Arena Valorant, uh, or Knights, yeah, Knights Arena Twitch, um, and you can just see them casting it there, or, you know, one of the various watch parties, uh, what have you. It should be very, very exciting. If you're wondering what my pickums are, I've gone over it on stream, um, but for the playoffs, you can see my whole list here where I have M80 and Moist Moguls qualifying for Ascension. There's a lot of other stuff. I'll go over that more when we get to the playoffs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to scroll down, see if you're subscribed. If you are, thank you so, 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 so much. If you aren't, I'd hope you would consider it. Make sure to check out the, uh, the conniving tournaments uh, over on Twitch, or you can join the Discord for more. Uh, and I'll see you all, I'll see you all tomorrow for playoffs. Bye.